Well, good day to you. It, uh, you know, I almost put the fire on this morning. Boy, damp and chilly out for this time of year. Um, and I have some trips uh, to make in the town, and so uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on me. Let me tell you about this. We... We had just cleared the Strait of Gibraltar heading into the Mediterranean Sea. And we entered into that area. The, the, the sea was calm and blue and beautiful. And the sky was uh, blue. There wasn't a, a cloud in the sky whatsoever. Uh, and it, we were nearing our time of shore leave. We've been on exercise in the uh, Atlantic, and uh, and we're now we we're going to spend a couple days ashore, and I was really looking forward to it. When it came on the horizon, it was really breathtaking. It was beautiful. It was, uh, you know, the closer you got, the the more uh, commanding the the view of it was. Um, the Rock of Gibraltar is located off the south uh, west tip of Europe on the Iberian Peninsula and it rises to an impressive height, it really does, of 1,400 uh, feet and uh, it protects the uh, Straits of Gibraltar. Gibraltar. It was a strategic Outpost. There was these huge gun emplacements on the end. Uh, it, it was incredible, and it is a uh, an imposing. It, it is a symbol of indomitable strength. This giant rock. After we come alongside, and we were on the western uh, side, on the bottom where the town is uh, located. Uh, I decided to, you know, to look around, and I went to town and had a, had a, a coffee in a, in a small cafe, and then I decided that I was going to go to the top, and so uh, I caught the tram, and the tram takes you directly up. Now, you can walk up slowly. There's a sort of a path that wanders up the side of that uh, small mountain, but the, there are very aggressive monkeys. And uh, they're going to, you know, if your camera's loosely around your shoulder, your camera's as good as gone. Or, or anything else that might be loose. So I took the tram to the top. Now Signal Hill, the, the patio up there, the top of it, is, uh, at, runs at about 1,270 feet. And the view is breathtaking. And so I decided to have another small coffee, uh, this, there was a little cafe and a patio, not much, maybe, I don't know, 50 feet altogether long and not too wide, and uh, these short fences, probably waist high, sort of railing really, and, and not much, you could step through it if you wanted to, but when you walked up to it and looked down, there's a hotel resort complex or whatever and it looked smaller than a you know a piece of lego it was it was a long way down and any careless movement on your part uh would take you to a for a long trip down that would ultimately meet with you would meet with jesus there's no doubt about that I also explored up there, when I was up there, I walked towards the gun emplacements, and there is a complex known as St. Michael's Caves, and you can go down into these caves, when you see the stalagmites and stalactites and, and all the rough rock formation, and they have a great deal of the first part of it lit up in beautiful colors. Uh, there's even a theater that they've built inside there. You can have this real surreal experience of color and sound and and just presence inside this uh, cavern. It's unbelievable, and it's reputed to go down, wander down 
uh, over 700 feet from the top. Uh, it, was, uh, it was one of the things that I remember uh, about my trip to the Rock of Gibraltar and about my time uh, up there. The Prudential Insurance Company adopted the Rock of Gibraltar as their company symbol because of its strength and its presence and, uh, and so much more. Uh, the, the Rock of Gibraltar, in their intent, would, would provide a security, solid security for those who were customers. Um, and, and it's probably the most recognizable company logos on the planet, really. The company proudly promotes that if you purchase this product, their, one of their products, that you would have a piece of the rock, a piece of the rock of Gibraltar, and it would provide you with strength and security for your entire family, and it's something you need to get on board with. There's a great scripture here in the in the book of Psalms, number uh, 62 and verses 1 and 2, Psalms 62, verses 1 and 2. And it says this, My soul waits in silence for God only, for Him is my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be greatly shaken. Let me say this again. Let me read it again. Psalm 62, verses 1 and 2. Uh, my soul waits in silence for God only. From him is my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be greatly shaken. And, and, the, and the, the psalm goes on to really talk about uh, uh, a refuge and that from, from treachery and opposition and strife and so much more, that God truly is your only uh, refuge. The Rock of Gibraltar is no doubt spectacular, and I have a picture of it uh, there. It really doesn't do it justice. It is beautiful, powerful, a stronghold, uh, represents strength and security, no doubt about that. An insurance company would have you believe that it is important uh, for every member of your family, it would supply all of your needs, all of your needs. The insurance company would have you believe that if you sign on with them, that all your security needs and desires would be absolutely met for, for everybody. And that's, that's what they're banking on, that you... This symbol that you see would give your mind this idea of, of solid, unmovable strength and, and, and security of mind and body and family. Now, some real questions for you to, to think about today. Do you think that the company really has your best interest in mind when it's promoting all of these claims? Do you think that the company has your best interest in mind? I don't think so. Uh, the vast majority of companies on the planet, all they're concerned about is the bottom line. They're looking to make a profit. Insurance companies are, are have gazillions uh, of dollars. And so it's not really your best interest in mind. It's they, they want good for you, but it, right? Now, do you think that they're going to provide this service, this security blanket for your entire family for free? Uh, uh, no. No, they're not. Do you think that their strength will protect you from Satan or from the, the agents and followers of Satan? These demons and spirits that are mostly uh, and not always visible uh, to the eye, do you think? Do you think that their security policy, the company, will extend forever? 
Do you think that the rock itself, as imposing and beautiful as it is, would survive a massive earthquake? Do you think it would survive modern weaponry? I think that there are some countries that have such powerful weapons that they could reduce that place to rubble should they want to. The answer to all of these questions is categorically no. Absolutely not. As much as the company wants to offer these things to you, they simply cannot. Someone once said these words, and these are words that should resonate through time. Uh, are you ready? They said this, God without man is still God, but man without God is nothing. Let me read it again. God without man is still God, but man without God is nothing. I think they're on to something here. The only rock that cannot be destroyed, the only rock, that cannot be shaken. The only rock that is a true, true stronghold for your life and all of those that you love, the only rock that can provide abundant and eternal uh, security in life, the only rock that can transform your life and this world is Jesus. It's as simple as that. When the rock of Gibraltar is an impending and powerful and strong as it is, is reduced to sand by the ravages of time, Jesus will still be the rock that you can stand on. You want relief from this pandemic, from the social isolation, from the from the 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 the, the, the restrictions and, and the sicknesses and death and all of these things that come with a pandemic, and there's going to be other trials and tribulations in your life. And if you want relief from that, do you? Do you want security? of food and drink, of water? Do you want security of clothing? Do you want the security of shelter for you and those that you love? Do you want security from anxiety and from worry? Uh, do you want um, all of these things? Because if that is what you want, then a company is not what you want to invest your life and your resources in. What you need to invest in is not the company, but you need to do, not what the company asks you to do, but you need to do what God asks you to do. Simple words are found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 33, and, uh, and these are the words. Because he's talking about security from clothing and drink and shelter and so many other things and from anxiety and worry and fear. And then it stops with this. Jesus is essentially saying this. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all of these things will be added to you. All the security you want, all the safety that you want, all the things that you want in life, shelter and love and security, and, and like all of these things that you desire in your heart, if you first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these other things will be added onto you. All of these other things 
will be provided for you. I would absolutely love to go back and stand again uh, on that deck, the patio at the, at, you know, almost 1,400 feet up on the Rock of Gibraltar. I would. I would love uh, to stand in those caves, to stand on the gun emplacements, to stand on the very top of this imposing uh, rock. But if I had to choose, if I had to choose, if I was given the option to choose, I would continue to stand on the indomitable rock that I already stand on, and that is of Yeshua. That is of Jesus, my Savior. And I would invite you to do the very same thing. God has not made this difficulty. If you have a desire to not worry about companies or other people or other things to provide your security and your stronghold, God says that you can stand on Him. You can stand on Jesus. If you believe in your heart that God sent Him to live, to suffer, to die, that He rose and from death, defeated death, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord of your life, then you will start down a journey that will last you into eternity. You will start down a journey that will take you up to the top of the rock where you can stand on something, someone, where you can stand on Jesus, who will never be destroyed. Isn't that something that you would want to do today? Father, I thank you for, uh, I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. I thank you for your strength. And, and Father, it is so good to know that we can, uh, we can, yeah, I don't care if people go up to the, stand on the highest mountain uh, on the world, up on top of Mount Everest. Um, they'll never stand any higher than standing uh, on the rock of your son, Jesus Christ. And help each and every one of us to do that. Help each and every one of us to invite someone else to do that. It, it's what you call us to do. I, I thank you for that security and that love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this and so much more. Amen. As always, call somebody. Tell them that they are loved, that they're not alone, that they're not abandoned, that they've not been forgotten. And that together we will move through all of these things. Our love will permeate and connect us together through the Holy Spirit. One spirit, one body. We are all together no matter where we are. Call someone and remind them of that. And you can remind them if they have some anxiety and worry or fear about what's happening, happening in the world right now that they shouldn't have this because they are, if they're a Christian, if they're a follower of Christ, they are standing on the only rock that can, that matters. The only rock that can make a difference uh, in their lives. May that rock be with you. God, you love you and hold you close until we gather again together. I might just go put the fire on just for a little bit. Not that I'm a wimp, <laughs> but it's just chilly. It's just, it's just not, it's not nice. And so I think I'm going to slip it on just to take the edge off the dampness. Uh, maybe you want to light the own fire 
Or maybe you're down south somewhere in the States and you need to put the air conditioner on. I, I don't know. But, uh, but whatever you do, have the very best day that you can.